I am also, I am also a co-lead of the health and wellness committee in the adult club. And in that role, we are tasked with bringing awareness about chronic health issues to our community and promoting, pr promoting prevention, health, and wellness. I would like to take a moment to recognize both our youth club members and committee members, as well as our health and wellness committee members. Can you all, if you don't have your cameras on, please turn your cameras on. You helped make this event possible. Please give yourself a pat on the back and let's uh, wave to our uh, audience. So thank you, our health and wellness, youth club members and youth club committee. This, this would not be possible without them. So thank you. In case you didn't know, this is Heart Health Month. So we thought that it was fitting to bring awareness to the issues which greatly affect our community. So I would like to introduce to you, Nicole Holmes, who is a youth club member and our national secretary for the youth club. Nicole. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Today I'll be talking about our heart health cooking demo. Um, for our statistics, we have 48% of African-American women and 44% of African-American men have some sort of a, of a heart disease. There's also a prevalence of high blood pressure in African-Americans, which is the highest in the world. Heart disease is a leading cause of death in all Americans. However, deaths from heart disease are higher in African-Americans. The rate of heart disease is higher in the growing middle and upper class of the African-American community rather than in white Americans with comparable socioeconomic status. The risk factors for heart disease are unfortunately more common in African-Americans than any other race or ethnic group, even at a younger age. Risks for heart disease include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, hypertension, and smoking. Poor diet is another risk factor for heart disease plaguing the Black community. And for lower income individuals, access to fresh and healthy foods can be challenging, which often results in poor choices in nutrition, such as foods higher in fat, calorie, and sodium content. Our presenters today are Chef Terrence Dill, who is a proud husband and father of six children. Chef Dill has a passion for cooking, has been cooking and creating delectable meals for closer to a, dec to a decade. He is currently employed as a head chef at Turnbridge, and Chef Dill is the owner of Time and Catering and Decor. Time and Catering and Decor brings a five-star experience to the convenience of your own home or outdoor space, and Chef Dill is pleased to join us this evening to demonstrate how healthy food doesn't have to be bland or boring. Kyla Griffith, a member of our New Haven Youth Club, is also involved today. And Kyla is involved in many extracurricular activities and community service. Kyla loves to cook and can often be found in her kitchen at home, whipping something up for her sisters or her mother. Kyla is an active member on her volleyball team, as well as an athlete and is aware of the health benefits of good nutrition. Thank you so much, Nicole. So without further ado, we'd like to uh, turn the show over to Chef Terrence Dill and our very own youth club member, Kyla Griffith. Thank you. You know her? Uh, okay, how are everybody doing tonight? Um, I hope you're ready to enjoy this um, cooking demo. Um, like she said, it is Heart Health Month. And today this meal is perfect. Um, it's like perfect for the heart. Um, we're starting off with um, salmon. We have Swiss chard and we also have our grain. Our starch for today is quinoa. Um, first thing we're gonna do is get our produce ready, which is um, our peppers, our onions and our Swiss chard. Swiss chard is um, great, it's packed with um, vitamin K, it's packed with a whole bunch of nutrients. It actually is actually called, um, like scientists call it like a, a super food. Um, it's, way, it's way better than, um, you know, the uh, greeny, leafy green veggies that we're used to, like collard greens and spinach and things like that. 
So first we're gonna just roll it up. You can drink, you could drink it, you could uh, put it in smoothies, you could saute it, you could um, wrap it up with um, some more veggies. It's, it's a great, great, great veggie. We're gonna roll it up and then um, this cut is called a chef finale. Chef Phil, is it possible to bring the camera a little bit closer so that we can see? It's a little difficult to see you. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. In the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you should see a button that allows you to, it should say view. And if you click view, you can click on speaker and it'll bring the presentation larger. There you go. Okay, Terrence, you should be all set. Thank you. Um, like I was saying with this leafy green, you can actually cut the roots as well, which um, makes a really pretty, really pretty veg for your plate. This, um, this veggie is uh, actually, they say it helps um, with your heart. It, it helps with inflammation. Um, it definitely helps with um, blood pressure. It, it's, it's, it's just a, a really, really good um, veggie. What is the taste like? I know we were waiting for uh, questions after, but it, would you, is it comparable? I would have like to, it's, it, it is a little, it's, it is a little bitter. So we will be adding some um, dry cram, um, cranberries to it, craisins, as they say. Um, but it is a little bitter on the bitter side. Um, it's not like, uh, the texture of spinach or, or collard greens, it's a little, it's a little bit tough, tougher than um, collard greens and spinach. But like I said, it's um, definitely healthier. Today we're gonna be uh, sauteing it down with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic, and finishing it with the craisins. Mm -hmm. Gonna get our pan on. And please do take notes if you're watching because he will we'll be taking questions after. So please take notes so that if you have questions. Yes, yeah, definitely. Pour some olive oil in there. As that pan gets hot, I'm going to um, dice a pepper and um, some onions right here. And that is going to go in our quinoa. I'm going to get to that, but I'm just going to get all our produce out the way first. So when you dice the onion, you do uh, three strips on the top, then you make four rolls down the onion. And then this begins the dice right here. And with the pepper, you make strips. And then you line them up, dice them. That pan should be nice and hot. So we're gonna add our, our veggies in. A great way to know if your pan is hot, if you hear that sound. So we're gonna add some minced garlic. You can um, um, actually um, dice the rest of those. And Chef Dill, you said you used olive oil. Yes, olive oil. You definitely use, uh, I got extra virgin olive oil. I like it. Better than um, vegetable oil and uh, any other oil, I think um, olive oil is definitely the best um, oil to use for this um, menu. Um, we're also gonna be using pepper. And then I have low sodium salt. You guys can see that. Two 
So you let that cook down. Uh, for a good five minutes, we're gonna let this cook down, render down. We don't want to cook it um too much, all the nutrients will go out of it. So we don't want to uh, cook it too much, but we're gonna just let it render down a little bit because we don't want it to be too tough. When you're cooking, you should always move your veggies around because you don't want to have any burnt anywhere. So if you're moving around, it's, it's you can't burn your veggies. I wish you guys could smell it already. It's, it smells great in here. We're gonna turn that down, let that sit for a minute. Next, we're gonna get um, our quinoa ready. Quinoa is actually a grain. It's a grain, but it's actually a, a seed. They call it a grain, but it's actually a seed. It's packed, it's packed with fiber. It's actually um, gluten free, wheat free, and it is um, has a lot. It also has protein in it as well. Well, we can mix this one. With quinoa, with cooking the quinoa, you have to rinse it off first. So I'm going to go rinse it off real quick. Hold on one second. We're gonna have a cup of quinoa. So how you cook quinoa, it's a cup, it's one part on um, quinoa, two parts water. So always remember that. So we're just gonna give it a fine rinse. Just how we would do our rice. It's important, um, if the packaging doesn't say that is pre-rinsed, it's very important that you rinse your quinoa off because it will have a, it's kind of weird taste to it. But this is a very important step that you do not want to miss. So we're gonna pour this right into the pot. We're going to add two cups of water, like I said. We're going to bring this to a boil. Does anybody have any questions right now? We can, um, we can talk. I do. How long do we let the Swiss chard um, cook? And does it lose nutrients if you cook it longer? Is it, you know, do you leave it a little crunchy? How, what, what, tell me about that. Um, I would say no, no longer than 10, 10 minutes. Um, you want to have a, a, a crunch. Me personally, I like my veggies to be a little firm. I don't like them really soft. So it kind of goes to preference, but you definitely want to cook it by, probably like a 10, 10 minute um, saute because you don't want all the nutrients to go out. Thank you. Any other questions? Anybody has any other questions? Now question, um, why do you got to wash the quinoa? Oh, okay. So um, if it doesn't have pre-washed on it, it's just like, um, like um, I don't know if you wash your white rice, but if you don't wash it, it has this, it has this bitter kind of weird taste on it that you have to just rinse off. Um, I don't know exactly why it does that, but it, it, it does. It's, um, and it says in the instructions, definitely to um, wash off your quinoa before now, you- Now, is that the reason why if you look ashy? That is, is that the reason? Is that the reason why if you don't wash it, it look ashy? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, you, so you have you have experience with quinoa, I see. No, I just be looking at stuff. I ain't messing with that. I, you know, I oh, okay, know okay. I <laughs> yeah, but that's that's exactly why. So we just have that. We just wait that. Have that to bring that to a boil, and then um when um when you bring it to a boil, you're gonna turn it um reduce it down to half, 
and then you're gonna put the top on um, the top on. Yeah, someone asked if we'll share the recipe. We'll definitely share the recipe. But one thing that Chef said was that he uses, as you can see, as he's cooking, he's using um, the spices to taste. So um, the, the exact measurements of the different spices would have to be to taste. But he did say he would provide the recipe for us. And we'll include that on our Facebook page. Yeah, one, one thing um, with cooking you always want to remember is um, you can't take away, but you can always add. So when you're cooking, um, definitely be light with the seasonings. Taste it. If you if you like this, if you like the taste, it's good. If you don't, if you want to add, but don't I, I suggest not to be heavy-handed at all. Do you put any butter in the quinoa? Say it one more time. Do you put any butter in the quinoa like you would do rice? No. <laughs> no butter in the quinoa. Um, that is not healthy for the heart. Uh, we we you can add um olive oil, coconut oil, um or something like that, but definitely not butter. Thank you, because I was sure about ready to put some butter in it. <laughs> Sister Tiffany, uh, this is a heart health demonstration. <laughs> we'll put our um, king wire here for right now. I mean, our um, Swiss, Swiss chard, Swiss chard in here right now. So as she puts the Swiss chard in there, we're just gonna saute these peppers and onions for our king wire. So we're gonna bring that up to a high heat. Add some olive oil. Can we see how much olive oil was in the pan? Okay. How do you go ahead? How do you feel about I can't believe it's not butter or margarine? <laughs> margarine is good. Yeah, those, those are good. Margarine is good because it's, it's, vegetable, it's definitely vegetable based. So you, if you, if it's so much that you need that butter taste, you could definitely use uh, margarine. Definitely, didn't, definitely not real butter though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, so our quinoa is out of oil, so we're going to re reduce that and put the lid on. Now we're cooking our uh, peppers and onions. So we can add uh, some salt. and some minced garlic as well. If you don't buy the flesh, I would, if you can use spoon, just make sure. Now for the star of the show, is our salmon. We're going to season the salmon on one side. We're going to put it in the pan, saute the side that we season. And then we're going to season while in the pan. We're gonna season the other side. Uh, as we talk about, uh, as we talk about um, our salmon, salmon it has a great source of protein. Uh, it has omega-3 um, fatty acids, which is 
really, really good in the heart. Um, the body doesn't produce those. Um, scientists say it's um, really good for uh, blood, pleasure, blood pressure. It's good for your brain. They kind of um, they did a a study where kids with they say they have ADHD. If you feed your kids um, salmon, I believe two to four times a week, it helps in, in that area as well. Um, so salmon is definitely to be a part of everybody's diet. Um, if you're not, you know, if you do eat uh, fish and chicken and meat and things like that, if you're not a vegetarian and things like that. So, so this is um. This is the um, texture. This is when it gets like translucent like that. Those are ready to go. We're going to drop that pan right down. We're going to season our fish. We're going to season our fish. You can eat with Cajun. Pepper. A little bit of Obey. And our low sodium salt. Or you could use, um, if you don't want to use the low sodium salt, you could use uh, sea salt, which is definitely a healthier option as well. Add olive oil to our pan. This portion of salmon is pretty big. Um, I don't know how many people will eat this big of a portion of salmon, but it's gonna look good on this plate tonight. <laughs> Any questions? Make sure that pan is hot. So should you leave the skin on? I know that some of, sometimes the salmon comes with skin. Should you leave the skin on? Um, and that is, that is, um, you can put it up just a little. That is, um, I'm sorry, that is preference. Um, I, I bought skin off. But I really, I like skin on. I like the crispiness that um, comes when you um, saute it. Um, but that, that's definitely preference. Tyler, what are you, what, what are you, um, skin on, skin off? Skin off. Should you hear a sizzle when you put it in the pan? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. Any other questions? We'd like some interaction. Does anyone else have any questions for the chef or Kyla? Will this work with any kind of fish? Because I don't like salmon. You don't like salmon? It's, it's, no. Okay. Yeah. Um. It will work for uh more meter. I wouldn't do it with flounder or anything like that. But you could do it like uh with cod. Um. Definitely, when it comes to the health benefits, um, salmon is the best fish, one of the best fish that you can eat. So, um, but yeah, you could do it with cod, uh, catfish, tilapia. Not to, well, I'm just saying, if that, it's not as healthy as this, but those are other options that you <laughs> if, it, if you want to. Chef Dill, I have a question. Yes. Um, what's the difference between the quinoa and the couscous? Are they related? Yeah, couscous is actually no, they're, they're not. They're not related. Couscous is actually uh, a pasta. is a, is like a pasta, more of a, pasta. It's like, a it's okay. like a it's like a round, like more like a round pasta kind of. Quinoa is um a seed. So quinoa would be the better choice. Definitely, definitely. Oh, okay, all right. As you can see the sear we got on it. Mm. With salmon, um, it is like steak where you could 
eat it medium, medium well, and, and things like that. I, I would salmon all the way through. I know certain people um, that like it uh, medium and things like that and have a little pink in the middle, but you know, I'm, I'm, that's just not, <laughs> that's not my ministry. <laughs> As you could go to the king while you can see this, all this water is reducing. So it's almost, almost there. What we can do is we're going to season it. So we're going to add some salt. We do salt. What's your cover? Pepper. Some of our minced garlic. And a little bit of olive oil as well. And our sutra pilot can mix, um, fold in that, uh, those peppers and onions. With your salmon, proper way to cook, cook it is five minutes on each side, and then it should be ready to go. Look at that one. So, Chef Dill, are there other things that you can? Uh, season the quinoa with other than salt, like maybe Mrs. Dash or something like that. Would that be more, not more healthy? Hey, one more time. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't hear so, you. So, for people who are watching their sodium um, intake, um, is there something else that you can season the quinoa with, with maybe like chicken broth or or something like that? If um, yeah, and even better than um, chicken broth, you can do uh, veggie broth. Um, you can do um, Mrs. Dash. Um, yeah, definitely. Those are, are, are great options um, instead of the, um, the salt. Now we're going to plate. Which is my favorite part. <laughs> so usually... You start your, we'll go first. Yes. Mm. And you will do your veg. Now we'll kind of just lay that right on the side. And then I will put our salmon. Hold on one second. Put our salmon right on top. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then hold on one second. For garnish. Add a nice lemon. And a little bit of parsley. Thank you guys uh, for tuning in. I don't know if you can see this plate. OMG, that looks so delicious. That is a lot of fish. Yeah, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks great. This is a couple minutes. That looks so. absolutely amazing. We need you guys to take a taste test and let us know how it came out. Absolutely. Yes, come on, come on. 
I have a fork as well. I want to take a bite from yours, Tiffany. <laughs> Blah, 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 Thank you. I just want to give you both a round of applause. Thank you very much. Um, we know how difficult this is to do virtually, um, but you guys did an awesome job. It looks amazing. I want to come over and grab some. Um, so <laughs> I, uh, so um, questions. I'm going to uh, go back to um, change our view here. Here we go. So does anyone have questions for Chef Dill or our youth club member about our presentation this evening? Um, like I said, I, he is going to get us the recipe so that we can share it to our Facebook page. Any questions? I just want to ask one question. I just want to ask the chef, does he ever measure or is just a gift that he knows how much seasoning to put in? Where is he? Oh. I, would, I, I, would, I would have to say it, it's a gift. Yeah. Um, okay. Only time I usually measure is when I don't usually do this, but if if I'm baking, mm. um, because you just have to, you know. All right, all right. Um, but I usually I usually don't measure if it's something that I'm following. If I'm following a recipe mm -hmm. um, from a book or anything like that, I can I I'll usually use the measurements, but I kind of take um. I take just what they say and just add my own, you know, probably if they say a half a teaspoon of this, a teaspoon of that. I just, I just got to, I just been cooking for a while to where I just have the eyeball for it. Yeah, and I asked because I'm from the South and they never measured, you know, uh, from my hometown, my yeah. grandmother, whatever she cooked, it was delicious. And that's the way I cook now. And I think it's a gift too, because the food is very good. Madam yes. Corresponding Secretary says he he's got uh got it from our ancestors. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, people make fun of me because I use recipes and measurements. <laughs> That's the other side of me. <laughs> we also have another. We have a couple of questions in the chat. We have one that says, "Does the chef travel in the tri-state area?" Yes. Yes, I do. Let me okay. And how, and how long would you suggest if we were? to bake the salmon and what temperature should we have it at? Um, if you was to bake the salmon, I would do it at 350. No, no, matter of fact, I would do it at 375. Um, Keep going. Oh, okay. I would do it at 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. All right, perfect. Also, um, Uh, where yeah I, this is what i was looking for so where is your your catering located do you have a like a standalone uh like brick no, and I, don't have, I don't have a a, a, a building yet oh. that is definitely um on the way but i am a traveling chef um me and my wife have a business that actually started in the in the pandemic and we traveled to um couples house we did anniversaries uh, we did birthdays. We traveled to Chicago and we uh, set up sometimes in their backyard. We set up in their houses and we just gave them an experience, like a fine dining experience. Perfect. Do you also have a website? Um, I'm only on social media right now, okay. um, which is Facebook and uh, Instagram. I, I, I do currently right now, I do not have a website. Awesome, um, the, awesome. uh, my name, the name of my um, the name of my uh, social media is Time Catering and Decor. I just had the screen up. I don't know if everyone had a chance to see it. I did have this screen up. Um, and, oh, yeah. okay. Check out your work. Say it one more time. So we can go on Facebook and check out your work. Yes. Yes, you can. 
Okay. Any, any um, you can always inbox oh, inbox me oh, yeah. if you have any um questions or anything. If you want, are interested in our services, um, we are always available. So, um, definitely, and our numbers is up there as well. And do you cater like large um events? Yes, yes, I do. Um, I actually just catered my uh my first wedding um mm. year which was, uh, you know, it wasn't, it was about 75 people, um, you know, due to COVID um, and everything like that. But that was pretty much, that was a, a pretty big deal. And I actually, I have a, a, another event coming up, which is um, about 75 to 100 people. So um, definitely I have a staff, I have a baker. Um, like I said, like I said, my wife um, does the decor and, you know, um, I got Kyla, my sous chef. So. <laughs> So, you guys, so we're, you guys, we're ready. So you guys have the full package. You come with everything. So we don't need to bring anything. If we was looking to book no utensils or anything, Lenny, you can't, you, you have all of that. Everything. We have everything. We actually have, um, we have, we actually have rental. Um, we, we actually do rentals as well. Chairs, glasses, um, everything. We have, um, the throne chairs, um, we have a, a lot of, we have a great, uh, a lot of um, inventory. So all that, it goes yeah, under it your decor, correct? Yes. Yes, it does. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank hey. you so much. Any other questions? Do you have like a, like an hour's preference? Like, is there like a certain like time you cut off uh, doing business? You know, people work nine to five and stuff like that. Um, meaning like for you to contact me or business hours. Yeah. Business hours. Um, no, no, I don't. If, 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 if I, if you contact me and it's 10 o'clock and I don't get to you, if I'm not up at 10 o'clock, I'll definitely get to you first thing in the morning. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. It's not, no, no, it's not. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have any, uh, business hours like that. No. Thank you so much, Chef Dill. Thank you, Kyla, um, for presenting tonight. And I, what I noticed was that that you did that really quick. Like I know you were thinking about doing pre pretending to prepare it and then having the meal already in the oven, like they do on the. I noticed that. But you did it really quick, so that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. And that's good. That's good. To, that's good to know too, because as far as um, meal prepping, that that would be a great meal prep meal that you can compare um and have out for about five, like um have containers and do about five days worth of it and you could you see how um, quick and convenient it is so i'm glad I'm, I'm so glad that you pointed that out thank you thank you well thank you for joining us um and we will be sure to use your services and uh, promote the black businesses so thank, thank you. you so much um, and so you all who have joined us who, uh, who, uh, and are on the call and are not already a part of this amazing organization, uh, here's information on how you can join this organization and get involved in your community. And if you want to leave your name and email address in the chat, one of us would be happy to reach out to you, get involved. It's an amazing organization. We have both a youth club, uh, ages 12 to 18, a beta side, ages 18 to 21, and of course, our amazing adult club. So for our youth and beta side, both male and female can join, and for our adult club, our uh, young, well, women can join. So I'd like to take, we have a few dignitaries on the line, and I would like to give uh, the opportunity to our Madam Governor, who is also a member of the New Haven Club, Evelyn Streeter Frizzle. If you'd like to maybe say a few words, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? Terrific program, terrific program. I truly enjoyed it. Um, Chef, what's his last name again? What's Dill. 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 Dill, yeah. Um, wonderful job, and I thank uh, our young people tonight for putting on this program and for our advisors and for our second vice president for just the wonderful work that they're doing in our community with our young people. So this was a great, great program. Thank you so much. Keep, keep up the good work. Thank, thank you, Madam Governor.
And also uh, joining us tonight is our uh, Vice Governor, Nicole Graham. I'm not sure if you're still on the line. If you'd like to say hello, we'd like to acknowledge you and thank you for joining us this evening as well. Um, yes, good evening. Thank you for um, acknowledging me. I wanna thank the president of the Youth Club uh, for presenting this program. Thank you for um, working with your um, youth advisors on the Healthy Hearts program. I think this was a great opportunity. And to Mr. Dill, we hope to work with you in the future on some adult programming with um, Heart Health. And um, thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Madam Vice Governor. And I'm not sure if Madam President is on the call. I think she had a, a few issues going on, but I know that she would definitely um, say thank you for joining us and, um, and please participate in future events. Our uh, president is Theretha Green. Okay, so that concludes our, our presentation for this evening. Um, like I said, please visit um, and follow our website, our Facebook page, where we um, put out a lot of information and uh, our, this evening's events will also be included. So thank you for joining us. Good night and God bless. Thank you, Terrence. Good job, Nicole and Kyla. Yes, yes. Thank you to our youth club. Beautiful. Thank you. Awesome good job, guys. Evening, everyone. Yes. Good, good job. Good job. Amazing, yes, amazing, job. amazing job. Yes, amazing. Yeah. Oh, Madam President, you are here. I thought you were not here. No, I'm here. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we're here. Say something. Say something. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let the, <laughs> let the youth have their day. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good night. Night. Night.